Okay. She made it okay. But it's heavy on account of this cover. So I may have to uh, fly without the protective cover. There's a bottle bottom cut just to cover all this exposed stuff. Anyway, the GPS was a little off performance. It might be because of the strap. I'll have to try it without that. The compass is set right on the FC. The battery's riding in the middle. Charge. Which one was that? Battery two. Okay, the gimbal is made so I can transfer everything to the other plane, but I've got a problem with tension here. I'm going to have to move the uh, OSD over to the right. Relax that a little bit because it'll vibrate loose on me. Everything else is attached to the gimbal. The only problem is the gimbal mount is kind of blind there. I can hold that nut with a pair of pliers and change it. To shim it to clear the uh, legs, I used an old broken leg and that became the standoff of the shim. Flight was good. And the, the original power distribution board sitting on a couple of foam tabs, just enough to clear the screws. Here's foam mounting tape, doubled up. Everything else is uh, this guy is sitting on foam mounting tape. I don't know how good that is. I don't have zeal. You use what you got. And that's three patches of foam mounting tape on each corner and it feels okay we'll see what the IMU vibrations show and we'll transfer the video this is the side panel from the LCX20 actually it was on the bottom side I used for all the connections channel 8 Seven and the gimbal. So, generic Simon K loaded the DSCs. One calibration did them all. They seem to have power. The weight is my killer.